It is 2024. At the start of this new year, every Wednesday, I'm going to give you five ways you can spot and secure every opportunity in a neighborhood hit by a storm. First up, I'm going to give you three ways to avoid showing up to a neighborhood without any roof damage. You'll never miss an opportunity again with Hail Trace's Hail, Wind, and Tornado maps. These maps are the industry standard of precision and accuracy because we use meteorologist and algorithm maps. First up is using two or more maps to be able to find a neighborhood that has a high chance of roof damage. In this example, you can actually see a wide range where this first storm hit. But where should you go? Uh, what neighborhoods have the highest chance of having damage? Well, with Hail Trace, you can actually download a second storm from a different date. Here, we're going to download a storm from back in April. Now you can actually see what areas got hit by more than one storm. And you can see it in this section, it actually got hit by two inch hail and a one and three quarter inch hail which would then increase the chances that there has been damage this year and you can start canvassing. Number two is actually going ahead and picking neighborhoods that you've already gotten a lead or a past job in. For example, you can see here with these canvassing pins that we've had uh, some past customers and this would be the prime place to start where you can knock on a door and say, hey, I have actually worked a job down the street there and we found that it was damaged and replaced their roof and there's a high chance that your roof has a damage as well. Third step is actually using facets to uh, figure out what neighborhoods to pick. Even on our map here, we can actually change to a hybrid view where you can see on the map what kind of houses are there in that neighborhood. More facets, a higher chance that there's going to be more money in that repair. If you haven't already, join over 2,000 companies utilizing Helltrace. You can even get a free version of our app to kind of get a feel for how our maps work. And then join us next week where I'm going to show you some of the tips to actually get some of those storm hit neighborhoods into your sales funnel and hopefully to a sale.